if the look is not too poor i look at his bank account <laughs> like hey guys welcome back to my channel how you guys can tell from this video we are not doing a reaction <laughs> my friend is a little bit exciting so we're going to be talking about how we, we feel about relationship let's just say okay. i will let her introduce herself and we will get started on this topic okay okay so i'm, I'm introducing myself yeah you're introducing okay. yourself all right hi my name is chavelle stephanie's best friend hey so today we're going to discuss how we feel about dating as a young woman we have a lot to say because the last time we talked about this topic was when we were working I was like pushing for that conversation to be more precise. She's my friend of camera, how you guys can tell. Yeah. I literally was like, okay, we need to know what's going on. I feel like we should share it. And I was like, okay, why don't we share it with Instagram people and see what they had to say. So first question is, what are your thoughts on the modern dating scene as a young woman? To tell the truth, I don't think it's a six. <laughs> We're not going to get through this video. <laughs> Okay, I don't think dating as a whole, like in this society, is literally something. I think it's literally dead because no one wants to date. Okay, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. Go on. I'm, I'm that person that doesn't want to date. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna say yeah. I feel like you know, it's, it's not that they wanna don't wanna date. I feel like because we're in a different generation and things are different. Not everyone wants to put in the same effort. Yeah, but. Yeah. It's like this, for example, you go out, you see this nice guy, I was like, oh, this guy is nice. Mm. How would you go out and approach this guy? You cannot, because you're thinking, okay, first of all, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, but that's the point. You have, you, can't, you have to speak to someone to see if they're available. But at the same time, you don't know, okay, not to be rude or anything, but you don't know if you swing the other way, because you have to like inspect, do the check, check in first before actually even going to the guy. That's why you ask. Because you can't just look at someone and know if they're and gay how would you go about straight. straight. Well, you talk to them and they'll be like, oh, sorry, I'm not interested. I'm into guys or I'm not interested. Okay, in would you stop the guy and say, hey, can I speak to you? Wait, what? How would you go about asking the guy? Like, you just see him and say, oh, he's fine. How would you go and approach the guy? Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you could be like, I don't know, because I've never done that. You never went to the guy and was like, oh, this guy is so cute. Oh, this guy is so cute. What? Because most of the time, when the guy talked to you, it was like, can I have your number? Like, they don't even try to make a conversation. Yeah. Can I have your number? Like, do I know you? Why you want my number for? Yeah. <laughs> you need to give me some context for me to get interested in you to give me my number. You can't just say, oh, you're pretty. I want your number. Okay, so I guess the way that you'd want someone to approach you, you would approach them. Obviously, I guess it's different because a girl talking to a guy, but it's can be. We're in a generation where things are a bit. No one wanted. Well, they do. They just don't want to put in effort. Or not all. I'm not gonna say that for everyone because there are people there that actually do like dating and do wanna like it, like please the person they're with and like actually put an effort in, especially if they're looking for marriage. Mm -hmm. But it's just I feel like the, in the age of the internet, it's just so easy to be like, hey, yeah, let's date and da da da. No one's really going up to people, and if they do, sometimes it can be a bit creepy. <laughs> like not even being horrible, but like you know, sometimes you get older guys that approach you and they just do it in the most creepiest ways, and it just puts you off dating. No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a comment. Someone said, "Can I have your number?" Yeah. I was like, no, you cannot. <laughs> it's literally your friend. <laughs> You just saw the comment, I was like, nah. No, you can't. I think the modern life right now is just non existent. Like, I feel like the dating scene for young women generally in our age is dangerous. How? I would say, like, there's so many incidents in the past, like, couple of years where a lot of women have been killed for, like, rejecting men. This is getting a bit serious, but it unfortunately does happen very often. So really? it is very dangerous. Yeah. Oh, okay, I won't say. But, like, on the news or stuff, you hear a lot of women are being followed by men. So it's like we get scared to say no because you don't know their reaction. And sometimes when you de start dating someone, you don't know who they really are because there's a lot of like re revenge porn being put out and stuff like that. Ooh. When you think about it, so it's like yeah. it's we, a lot of women don't date because of what what can happen to us yeah. when we do date. So sometimes we just think, you know what? So I feel like with that, the dating situation's a bit iffy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, that got deep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Next question: How do you navigate the challenges and expectations of dating in today's society? First of all, I don't know how to navigate it because I literally see things in a positive light when it comes to dating. Yeah, I'm always positive and open-minded when it okay, comes to okay, dating. Yeah. Except for like, you don't. No, 
I'm talking about you. Me? How? Girl, we're here to spill the tea. Cause like, I don't know. Go on. Actually, no. The reason why I was gonna say, but that's different because he works with you. So that's wait, are you talking about baby powder? Yeah. What about baby powder? <laughs> There was a police officer who killed girls for you. Yeah, that was Sarah Evergard, and which is sad. And there's one that happened recently. Not with a police officer, but oh, with a police officer killed a girl a few years ago. You remember? Oh, it was yeah. in like October or something, and he followed her. Oh yeah, that was creepy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So anyway, um, what yeah. happened to Baby Powder? Where you were like, I don't think. <laughs> okay yeah so let that kind of that's not being open mind -y. okay let me say something quick because she bought a topic that i think i should let people know i'm not being rude I'm no not that being rude. I, I understand it but it's just like you're still not being open-minded if you say yeah i just know what i like okay, okay so i said that i do not date black men I feel like you should cut this out youtube channel but karen <laughs> It's not being rude, it's like no. I did date them and then I just saw that I wasn't has, how would I say, it, attracted to them Like I would, I would always feel like brotherly love to them Like I would always friend them, not actually see them in that A romantic thing romantic things okay. Because I tried like multiple times and it never worked out Like after one day of meeting them I was like no, I don't want to see you Oh I was like, <laughs> not that we No, I know, I know, I know Oh I will say okay we can meet, we can still be friends but I don't see us as progressing so when someone at work where i work with asked me for like he was flirtation with me and i wanted to make sure that he wasn't going in a relationship route with me because i wanted to separate the both like mm. we are friends we talk about but topic and then, the day. Yeah, yeah so i was like very friendly with him and then so i asked him the question and then he was like yeah he felt that way to me and i was like no that cannot work and then he tried to put the blame on me yeah. saying that it's my fault that i'm not trying or that i'm suffering i don't know like when you see when you try to reject a guy one thing i noticed when you try to re reject a guy they try to push the blame on you and then it. that's what I, that's what i was saying about the first thing like when you try to reject them not all of but some guys do get very aggressive which is off-putting yeah why yes, would you blame me for saying, something yeah. i just say that i don't do i didn't say you're not attractive i just say i don't feel romantic that way toward you i yeah. see you as my friend we cannot go any further than that that's what i'm just saying so was that the one yeah okay cool so maybe yeah. i'm not that open-minded when it comes to really dating yeah. then the question I know, right? <laughs> the question is how to navigate the challenges of oh i'm not good at navigating i'm terrible yeah. at navigating oh, there we go. that was what you're saying yeah i'm terrible at navigating i feel like with dating there's a lot of expectations that people put on like couples and yeah. that's what makes the relationship strained like i feel like it should there shouldn't be expectations unless it works for both of you oh because you know like that like the traditional ro relationship is like it will have certain things that people expect yeah but if it doesn't work for you two you shouldn't like be forced to feel that both of you have to do it i feel like True. a relationship should work around how the two of you are yeah if that makes sense that makes sense what was the next question the next question said have you experienced any unique joy or frustration while dating a young, young woman? Um, I did. <laughs> yeah, because I'll let you take this one. Go ahead. I actually did. Mm -hmm. Well, which I should not talk about this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you pick. Okay, what about today? Even though I didn't date him. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, today yeah. me and my friend went out. We went to a Korean restaurant. Mm -hmm. So and we were eating and stuff like that. And I saw this hot guy. Just, he was one of the um, waiters. Waitress. Waitress. And I was like, oh, he's fine. So I kept staring at him. Like, okay. I kept staring at him. My friend was like, why you keep staring? <laughs> it keep was bad. Eyes. Like, she, I was talking to her and her face was looking that way. And I'm just like... And I was like... Oh, how would I do this? So I asked my friend to be my wingman, woman, I mean. Yeah, whichever one. Yeah. And she was like, no. Because <laughs> I was scared, like, if you rejected her, I'd feel like I'm getting rejected <laughs> on her behalf. So, so I just said, just yeah. call him and then let me just do the talking. Oh, say you want some water, let me do this talking. He came to take up pay and I... See, that happened before you told me you wanted his number. She thought I was talking about someone else when I was yeah. saying that I wanted to Because my brother guy. even gave you advice and it's like, because you said something about what if I lose or something. He said, well, you don't know if you lose if you don't try. 
or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And she didn't take any of that advice. I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. It's just kind of like I never actually asked a guy out. Most of the time the guy asked me out. So mm. I never went about asking anyone out. The fact is I didn't know how to ask the guy for his number. So I was like, did I just say can I have your number? Or did I just say hi, I would like to know you? Or I didn't know how to let yeah. you navigate any of that. So I was confused. So I was asking her. <laughs> Like, and the funny thing is, she never actually dated anyone. So I don't know why she was asking me because I never date. Like, the first time and last time I dated was when I was in nursery. I was four years old. That was the first and last time I dated. So I don't know why she was asking me these questions. So I was confused as hell. I was like, oh my god, this is so awkward. So, and the funny thing is that all the waitress, they're actually hot, they're pretty. And I was like, he might be dating one of those girls because look how pretty they are. They are so pretty. So that will come under frustration. Yeah, I'm frustrated. Because like not know it I feel like that's another thing about us growing in the day the age of internet. Yeah. Because we don't but obviously people we have to interact with people face to face. Yeah. But we interact less because it's easier to meet someone online. Yeah, so we we met we tend to meet people online and they'll just be like, Hey, hey, what's up? And then you start talking. But doing it to someone face to face is different than doing it online. And in the weird. old day, they used to do a face exactly. to face. Yeah, they had to do like something. someone would have to declare their love to you and be like, "Let's go on a date," and I'll pick you up at eight. And they will be like, "Okay, here's my address," or here's my number. Now it's just online. Someone can go scroll through your Instagram and be like, "Oh, you look peng. Let me let's let's chat." And you'd be like, "Cool." <laughs> that's that's it. So it's completely different. But yeah. no one who does that on the internet in that sense will do it up to someone on the street. Or if they do, we're not gonna go for it because it's like at least you could be a bit more subtle. Yeah, like don't, don't go up to me and be like, oh, you're fine. I want your number. Uh, no, 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 you don't know me. I could be a horrible person. That's the thing. When I talk to people, or someone asks me about it, I never assume they're a terrible person. Mm. I okay. also assume, okay, you're an interesting person. I always say they're interesting. I always assume they're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pessimist. Because you don't know them, you can't say, oh, he's a good guy, he's a bad guy. You say you're interesting, so I want to know more about you. That's why I always look at when it comes to relationship because when you already put like your guard up what's the point yeah, you're not, you're not getting you know, anything you're not letting people in you're not actually trying to get involved or something like that that's exactly what. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying exactly but do you even follow that that's what i'm saying exactly that's why i do it okay the next question was how do you balance your personal goals and aspirations with your dating life so like for example how do you continue to strive for what you want in life without your relationship blocking it because that could be hard that's actually a hard question yeah well we haven't been go on i guess with that question it's like we haven't been in that situation but also if where am i going with this yeah where are you going with this i don't know okay yeah okay so we haven't been in that situation but it does happen so for example if like one of your partners are moving away and they want you to go with them but it's also blocking it could block your like your oh your process your creative process yeah or your process to like moving up in in with your job yeah then that's how do you balance that do you choose the love of your life or do you choose your job because you don't know if you're gonna spend with this person but then you can break up with them pick your job and then you end up not hating your job or get fired and you're thinking i should have chose them it's like how do you balance that true wait okay. someone was saying that let us say also it hard to judge someone in person if you just met them but online there's a whole profile decorated way if for you to judge that is true but i think also sometimes people can make up online personas yeah yeah that's like with cat it, it, like it does make sense that's when we went yeah. to catfish and kind of at the yeah. same time they can't actually create their own personality to be online so in yes. online they're this nice guy or something like that but offline they're douchebag and you're like okay yeah they're creating this? what they want you to see yeah yeah but that is a good question that was a good question anyway when it comes to goals and personal life is depend how you want to balance it to be precise mm -hmm. like if you know how to balance like personal life and stuff like that for example you have a day in a week which you say is a um busy week. no oh. like in a week you can take one day a week mm -hmm. like the, there's seven days you can't say you're busy all seven days you That's can take yeah. one day to um, dedicate that day to your partner your loved one you say okay let's do cinema viewing or watch movie or relax tea or On chilling like or or yeah like. in one day that's like you're literally giving time for your partner to be like 
the special one in your day yeah. not to say oh i'm busy yeah. i have work to do i'm tired i can't do this that's excuses that's not actually trying to uh balance, balance it anything that's true so that's what i see it as like if you want to balance your goal and your aspiration and dating you just have to make sure you know how to put aside a certain day or certain times to share or be with your partner so that you have at least something that you can always go back to and rekindle the love or whatever yeah. and doesn't die that out well, that's true yeah look at me being this question i know right <laughs> <Grr>. <laughs> Um, I right, say so the next question is what's the quality do you value most in a potential partner and why that's a hard question that is a hard question because um, you know a lot of people say they they look at people's personalities but think about it, you can't see someone's personality the first you thing cannot. you're gonna see is look and obviously obviously even being horrible but beauty is subjective meaning like not everyone's gonna see something as beautiful or not everyone's gonna see the beauty in certain things so okay. yeah so it's like I could see someone I think they're attractive and you could see someone and be like Ugh. but you have to be attracted to your partner to, to like them like you can't be with your partner and not be attracted attraction is a big thing in humans like people love to lie and say oh no it's not about beauty it's blah, blah. but if you find something beautiful it will make the like your attraction to them you start getting attracted to their personality once you know them or sometimes you don't see someone as attractive but when you start knowing their personality it makes them look more attractive yeah. and you notice that i noticed that yeah the reason i would say one of the reason why most people always do this is because they're lying it's not mm. saying to the person the whole truth, but at the same time, we don't know how to take the truth. We get hurt by the truth more than the lie, which yeah. is funny because you always like, oh, you lied to me, blah, 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 blah. But what if I tell you the truth, you say you that, why it? you say that to me? How mean of you to say that to me? So it's yeah. kind of like double standard in a way. Yeah. <laughs> because if you say, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful, I'm attracted to your look. It was like, so you're only interested to my look. Like, You'd be like well, that's the first thing I see. <laughs> so what am I supposed to say? <laughs> So it's like you need to be true and honest if you want to for me it's like this like be honest if you're mm. honest and you think that you have nothing to hide or nothing to like you can't hide anything because mm. everything literally should come out at the end of the day no matter what you think is out there everything literally should come out so if you're interested in someone look just say you're beautiful i'm attracted to you and with that kind of stuff after that that's when you look at the personality and then you look at the attitude and if you think that you'll be okay with it if you're not okay you don't have to settle for that you can yeah. just ditch it so why people have to say that oh, I'm not interested when you say, Oh, what do you like about this guy? Um, his personality is so like, nice, he always do this to me, he always do that to me. And it's like, Listen, you can't the first thing she comes in your mouth is like, He looks so beautiful, he looks so fine. Yeah, like, I find him so <laughs> that? Because, yeah, <sighs> yeah. So I feel like when they say that personality is kind of like that is a thing. Like obviously you have to gel with your partner with your personalities. Because yeah. if your personalities clash, then the relationship ain't gonna work. It ain't so, gonna work. but when people say like at first sight, what what attracts you towards them, you can't be like. It's a personality because you didn't see that first. You didn't see that personality. Unless you see them doing something really nice for someone and then you'd be like, ooh. Yeah. But that's a bit, yeah. That's different. I would say the look is always first. Like, yeah. no matter what anyone say, the look is always first. Well, yeah, just being attracted to someone. Yeah, but no just... one in this literally century will say, oh, it's because of his look. No <laughs> one. A few people do, but then they get called shallow. <laughs> And it's like honestly being honest you have to be attracted to the person that you want to date. Yeah. Or sorry, because it's such if a If you're not interested, thing. you start thinking like, ooh, what else what other quality? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my. It just popped in my head and I was like, okay, this one is funny. Someone actually will say something like this. I don't know if I saw it online, it was something like that. It was like, um, if the look is not too poor, I look at his bank account. <laughs> like, what are you making? I've, yes, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Like, if you're making the check, I don't care how much you look, you're giving me that money. So I, look, that, I was laughing. I was like, how? People would literally say that they will settle because your bank account look loaded. Like, yeah, no joking. <laughs> Why? I was gonna say that that is another quality. I don't think that's a quality. quality. But I was gonna say like their financial status. Yeah. Because it's obviously it's like not even being shallow. We are in the middle of a global crisis. Like we are all broke. Oh yeah. So obviously it doesn't. In that sense, you're. It's not. You're gonna. Blah, you can't expect someone to have all this money and be spending, spending, spending it spending, when you don't have money. But like, if you're dating someone, you can't date someone and they expect you to be paying for everything. Like when, when, for example, if you move in and they're like, oh, I can't cover the bills this month. You have to do it, and then you, and then you just consistently do it. Like I've seen it happen yeah. in my family to a lot of the women. I'm not gonna say names because if this go 
loads on the internet and people see I'm like, whoops. But okay, it, I've seen it happen, especially to the women in my family, and then a lot of them end up being the sole winner as well as the the mother and the therapist and looking after everybody else. It's yeah. like I feel like with that, you guys have to be on a level of like having. Obviously, you don't have to be rich, but, but you need to have you, a balance. Like, yeah, you have to be good with your finances. Yeah, because I can't be bailing you out all the time. Same with me. I'm not gonna expect you to bail me out. If we're going to lunch, I don't mind going 50-50. That's fine. Yeah. Like, you don't have to be paid for everything. I'm not going to be paid for everything. So, I feel like um, with that, you can't always expect a man to just be super, super rich and you do nothing. But then also, he can't expect you to be, because it's because we're in a new age of, like, feminism and equality. You can't expect the girl to yeah. be paid for everything. So, I feel like... But I at the like same time, I think some guy take advantage of that. They say, well, aren't we supposed to be in the world where the woman is supposed to be paying, like, a bunch like, of pay uh, No. no. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Equality for a reason. We no. go halves. <laughs> no, it was like, well, I don't have anything to do with Oh, stuff actually happened like that. I went on a date with a guy, yeah. and then and then um, we were like, when he came to pay, he was like, uh, sorry, I don't have my check with me. I was like, oh, uh, that's unfortunately, but I'm only paying my half, so you have to pay. See, if, even if you said it from before, you'd kind of be like, that's okay. fine, but don't expect me to pay for it. See, because you that's... knew you were going on a date. Exactly. So, like, no. And even if he messaged you and you, you were like, oh, let's go on a date, and he'd be like, oh, sorry, I don't have enough money, you could have been like, okay, I'll cover it this time. Yeah. If obviously you don't have to, but if that's the case. But then that's just like the beginning of the end. If you keep doing that and then it just comes to a thing, it's just like, okay, next question. Next question. Wait, did we finish? What qualities do you value the most? Okay, so yeah, like, yeah. also honesty. Oh. I feel like in a relationship you have to be honest, even if it's if the other person is bad. Like it. Yes. You need to be honest. Yeah, I feel like, um, honest. This I feel like honesty is a very big thing in a relationship. Yeah. I feel like if you don't have honesty in a relationship, it can't go forward properly. You're not going to progress. Yeah. It's just not going to work. But also, they have to have some of the same values as you. Uh, for example, you're going to have children. So if they don't have certain values that you do, it's going to be hard to grow up your kid. For like example, on race and like sexism, um, sexuality. Yeah. If you have certain views and your partner doesn't have those views, yeah. growing up a child or just living is going to be hard. True. Yeah. So like, for example, if you end up having a child with this person and your child grows up to be gay yeah. and then you find out your partner's homophobic it's going to be like yeah. or then you start dating your partner and you find out that they're they're sexist and you're thinking i'm a woman so how's that gonna work yeah so i feel like in certain senses you have to kind of figure out what your views are and see yeah. if they match Obviously. There's lots of things you have to pay attention when it comes to dating. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like if you had to do all this check, 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 you're not going to find the right person. No. Obviously, there's things that people are not going to agree on. Obviously, like you can't, if you're going to be exactly the same, it will never work because it will be never boring. Work. And obviously, it's just. You're like, supposed to find someone who's the opposite of you. But yes, you don't have to be the a complete opposite. Not the complete, but the opposite. Like if the other person is not financially and. Stable, we don't know how to um, maintain it financially properly. You can be the one that actually maintain all the financially, but he had to work like he can't be lazy because okay, he can't. Exactly. Think. Yeah, so you have to look at it like that, not like okay, you don't know how to um, take care of your financial and stuff like that, and you're lazy on top of that. No, yeah, no. you can't. Do one of them. You can be lazy or you can be thing, but we don't want lazy. We want the one that is financially stable, so no, that you will take care of the financial and stuff like that, and you get to work. Mm. And there's no stress on you because you're working. You know that there's some money, money yeah. and there's money coming in, and there's money saving it, so that you can enjoy and do the activities that you want to do. Mm. So, like, you need to find someone the opposite of you. Like, you're a quiet person. The other person need to be talking, so you bring you out of your shell, so you talk and stuff like that. So it's not being mm -hmm. like. I was gonna say with that one that could be you know like if you're an introvert and you're dating an extrovert that can also be very hard because I like, imagine if they're someone that likes to party and they're like oh let's go out but your social battery is drained and then they're like oh you're so boring you never want to go but out but the thing is and it's like one thing I noticed about being an introvert and introvert is that most people that are introverts the people is extroverts always assume the people that are introvert are not interested to party and going out yeah That's and it's like thing. we do but no. just in small stages we like yeah. going out yeah what we don't like is 
do it all Consistent the time. Yes. Like you can say, oh, do you want to go out? And I'll say yes. Mm. If I cannot, I would just say sorry, I cannot today. But it doesn't mean that you have to stop asking. Yeah. Because some days I will want to go and I want you to invite me, or I will go with you if it's like, oh, because when I will text you and I was like, oh, well, you also I'm out. I was like, you didn't even ask me. Yeah. So I thought you wouldn't be interesting, but so you didn't even ask me. You can't assume.